Okay, what can be worse than going all the way up to the mountain, buying a lift ticket, bringing all your gear, putting your board on, and halfway through the day, your feet are killing you, you're done, you just want to get to the lodge, have yourself a refreshment, sit by the fire, you're done, can't take it anymore. We're going to show you how to fix that today. What's up everyone? Welcome to the first episode of A Do to Dad Garage. It's going to be a different series of videos where we keep all of our rides in tip top shape, whether it be a jet ski or a dirt bike or keeping a snowboard or skateboard built right. You see a bunch of different things in this. Uh, try to help you guys keep your ride set up right. This series of videos had importance because we've been bringing people up to the mountain or out on the water for the first time or even skateboarding and, and you bring kids or, or new first timers out to do something and uh, it's difficult to watch them suffer, right? Whether their gear's making it uncomfortable or the, the weather, they're not warm enough, they're not cool enough, whatever it is, shivering in the water, cold on the mountain, too hot on the mountain, uh, all these different things. So uh, notice that over the years, we're constantly giving people advice and helping them, you know, hey, you, may, you may, might wanna think about this, you know, uh, maybe try the bibs get rid of that pant and belt thing if you keep getting snow packed in your clothes um, and, and just realize that a lot of the things we have learned we want to share with you guys so this series of videos is going to do that one of the best ways to make sure that you have a good day on the mountain and that you can stay the whole day on the mountain and get your money's worth from that lift ticket you bought is to make sure your boots are right you know uh, I've had people out there on the mountain with us and they're in rental boots and of course you know those are going to be uncomfortable uh, they're rentals everyone's worn them they're not fit to you or people go buy three four five hundred dollar pair of brand new boots and they put them on and they wonder why they're still so uncomfortable even with the new boot you know that's not the rental boot the bad experience they had before and, and I think the number one thing to that is we got to get them molded to your feet. Um, they most all the boot manufacturers have a, a heat molding um, technique that will make it, it make it fit, and we need to get that room in your toe area. So we'll have to use a toe cap in there uh, when we do it. And if we have donuts on your ankle bones, we want to get those in there. Make sure that we get you nice and heat molded to your feet the way they are, so that when your heel uh, is in that snowboard boot and you're riding that you're locked in. Your, your heel's not raising or lowering any, rubbing that blister in the back of your heel. We can do that by locking your ankles in. We want to make sure that when we heat mold, we heat mold extra room in the toe piece of your boot so that your toes don't feel crammed in there all the time, especially if you're spending a lot of time on your toes. So we're going to mold a little extra room in the toes, keep your little wiggle room in there so they stay comfortable. And, and I assure you guys, if you go through these steps and spend that little bit of extra time and make your gear, your snowboard boots specifically in this episode, fit right. You're going to have a much better day on the mountain. You're going to be able to stay much longer. Uh, you'll get your money's worth and you'll look forward to snowboarding more often. And that's what we're about here is trying to help you get out and enjoy the adventure more. Okay, if you didn't guess by the thumbnail, uh, today we are doing a pair of snowboard boots. Uh, the mom, Amanda, uh, bought a pair of snowboard boots two years ago. Boas, uh, she was trying to go for something different. Uh, they never felt like they broke in. They're still hurting her. They're hurting her in the shins when she's down on her toes. Uh, her heels moving around. Uh, she's over it. Um, we've talked her into going back to laces, going back to the same style boots that me and Tucker ride. And we got her a brand new pair of 32 lashed. So we'll get this boot out and show you here shortly. But uh, this is the one that we are going to heat mold to her foot today so that right away, right out of the box, day one, this thing's comfortable, long lasting. She's going to have fun. So the things that we are going to use today to mold these to her foot, nice and easy, at home, things you have. You don't need to buy any expensive warmers or anything like that. Uh, we're going to need two pairs of old socks. Next, we're going to need one pair of snowboard socks. Whatever thickness, length that you're going to normally wear when you snowboard, whatever that is. doesn't have to be an expensive snowboard sock. Whatever sock you're going to wear when you uh, snowboard in this boot in the future. Uh, we need a bag of rice. Any kind of bag of rice will work. You know, the average grocery store bag. Uh, you're going to use a microwave for this. And we're going to need a 2x4 or a brick, anything about an inch and a half, 2 inches high, about 8 inches wide, something for you to put your foot on. All right, so we got our stuff assembled. Let's get to it. 
Okay, first we are going to take an old sock and we are going to find the toe piece and we are going to come about an inch and a half back from the end of the toe piece and we are going to cut the toe piece off of that sock and put it to the side. Next, we're going to take our rice and another old sock and we are going to fill the inside of this sock with this rice. And I think I'm going to go with that. So I'm going to put that aside for now. Alright guys, now we got the boot out. Looks good. 32 lashed. Fresh boot for the mom. We are going to go ahead and get this thing all loosened up so we can get the inner liner out. We're going to end up breaking this boot down to its three parts. We're going to end up having the outer, the inner liner, and we're going to make sure you get the footbed out of the inner liner. Boots outer, inner liner, and the footbed. Okay, now let's get our two socks with the rice in them. Remember, we have a fatter one that's going to go down where our ankle and leg come in, and then one that's much smaller, and for the mom, even much smaller, to get down into the foot so we could distribute even heat all through there. Okay, we got them. Let's get to the microwave. <music> Okay, we are back from the microwave with two hot socks full of rice. Uh, we're going to leave our outer to the side, but we are going to get into our inner liner first. And we're going to take the smaller sock, we're gonna get it down in there real, real far. Ooh, it's hot. Be careful. <laughs> All right, so we got that one in there. I'm going to close this liner up with just the foot one in. Put this back in the outer. Get that foot down there where it's supposed to be. Remember, foot bed stays out during this part. I'm gonna get the other one. This is the fatter one. This is the one that's gonna be your leg. Get it down in there. Okay guys, now I got all the socks in there. Ugh, they're all in there, they're warm. I can feel that heat in there working gonna just loosely tie this boot up hold all that heat in there okay we're gonna let that thing sit marinate let all that heat soak into all the areas for 10 minutes we'll be back after that All right, well, we let those boots heat up inside. Let's get the toe cap on mom's foot. This is the toe cap that we cut off earlier in the video. Give her the extra space. And we're gonna cover that with a normal snowboard sock. Whatever sock you would normally snowboard in, use that, put it on over. And what this is gonna do is we're gonna mold her toe area with more space in it. And then when she rides normally with only her snowboard sock and maybe a normal sock under it, uh, it there's gonna be extra room. So her toes will never feel crammed. And uh, she'll stay comfortable. All right, we're back to check on this boot after it sat for its 10 minutes. Let's see what we got. Ooh, still pretty warm. Okay, at this point, we're going to put the footbed back in. We already have the mom ready over there with her socks on. So we're gonna take this over to where she's at and get it strapped up. Okay, we'll get this warm boot to Amanda, the mom. Get her to put it on. Uh, we do have to lace it up here, but you don't wanna do it super, super tight. It needs to be 
uh, firmly on your foot so that the warm parts of the liner will mold to your foot, but uh, it doesn't need to be super, super tight. And once you got the boot on and uh, you're ready to form it, we're going to get a two by four, something that's an inch and a half tall or so um, to stand on, try to get our, put our toe on it like we would while we were snowboarding. We're kind of molding the ankle and all the spaces uh, inside the boots, all the different angles. So for the next 20 or 30 minutes, just keep it on, um, try different angles and uh, wear the boot in proper. Okay guys, that's it. We got one formed up, fit and right. Copy the process for the other one uh, and you will have a styling pair. I hope this technique worked for you. If it did, please let us know in the comments. If it didn't, let us know that too. That's what we're about here on this channel. We're about making everything better. We want to help you guys. We want to motivate you guys. Get out there in nature. Get out there with the people that you want to be with and enjoy it. Sometimes we're going to try to motivate you by showing you beautiful places that we get to and beautiful mountains and waves and skate parks that we get to ride. But sometimes it's also about helping you get your gear right. So when you get in that position, you're there at your trip, you're there on the mountain, you're there at the wave, that you can ride all day and focus on the beauty around you in the nature and the people that you chose to surround yourself with. And the way you could do that is not be worrying about your feet hurting, right? So there it is, episode one of A Dude to Dad Garage, getting your feet right first. Uh, thank you guys. Um, please, once again, like, subscribe, share. We are just a dude and his dad out there doing stuff and trying to do it more comfortably. Uh, thanks a lot. See you guys next time.